Registering your camera with Scout Tech is as easy as pressing that register new camera button and scanning your camera's QR code. It's that simple guys. But if you have any questions about this process, I'm not only going to walk you through registration, but activation as well. So once you log into your app on the main dashboard, you'll see a big red button to register new camera. Once you press that, step number one, it will default to Scout Tech Certified. 99.9% .9 of you will leave it here. This is our partner's cellular trail cameras such as Exodus, Radix, Bow Creek, Ironsight, and any future partners are Scout Tech Certified cameras. The only other option here is email cameras. Not many of you still run these, but if you do have a camera that sends photos to an email, instead of sifting through a thousand emails a day to check your photos, you can register that camera with Scout Tech and then all those photos and videos are organized within the app. So for those of you with cell cams, leave it set to Scout Tech Certified. Step number two is to press that button to scan QR code. Now, if your camera has an LCD screen, the QR code will be displayed there. If it does not, it will be in the form of a sticker located somewhere on the inside cover of your trail camera. So once you scan that QR code, you'll go ahead and give your camera a name and press register. Just know that if your phone's camera is broken or that sticker is damaged, you also have the option to enter the IMEI and ICCID manually. So once you've done that, named your camera and press register, you are done. That camera is now associated to your account. And from this point forward, you will only have to activate and deactivate. You do not have to go in and delete that camera from your account when you're done using it and then repeat this process next year. So guys, just know that if you have multiple cameras you wish to register, go ahead and register all of them first before activating. But if you just have the one and you just got it registered, the next step is to proceed to activation. So you can go ahead and press that button. If for whatever reason you've closed out the app, you can go into the main menu and go to the My Account section. This is where you will always come to activate and deactivate in the future. Once you press the activate button, it's going to take you here to the checkout screen. You'll also notice at the top, if you have any other cameras on your account that are not active, they will be displayed here as well. And you'll notice a little toggle switch to the left of that camera. You can choose which ones to activate or not activate. Since I'm just activating the one, I'll keep that one toggled. I can come down here and choose a data plan or change my current data plan. So once you select your data plan, you'll just press that red button at the bottom that says place your order. Now after a few seconds, it should say active over here on the right hand side. If it does not for whatever reason, you can always back out and refresh your app and you should see that camera listed as active within your app. If you guys have any questions or ran into any issues throughout this process, you can always reach us at support at scouttech.com. Thanks for watching.